<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, this week we find ourselves in a little town called Rome on South Australia's rugged coastline. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we take an awesome four-wheel drive track from Rome to Beachport, and in our opinion, this is one of the best coastal 4x4 tracks we have ever tackled. It certainly had us on our toes. We end the episode off with a little donation camp by the lake. Well, welcome to another episode. Uh, if you've been following the adventure last week, we uh, handed a little nuggy back and finished our trip uh, around Central Australia. And we're actually con currently in South Australia. We had a week off, didn't we, last week? We did, we did, and it was amazing. <laughs> so it sounds weird saying that we had a holiday from our holiday. <laughs> um, but we put the camera down, didn't film anything. We're at Rapid Bay. Now we've moved over to Robe. Uh, we're Finney. Oh, Lennox is in jail. Oh, Lennox is in jail. <laughs> this is the old um, old jail up on the headland. And we're just going to explore a bit of road. The weather's not great, but that's travelling. And uh, do a bit of a four drive track tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, take you with us. We don't really know what's happening. <laughs> do we ever? <laughs> not really. You need to get in, in the cells, mate. <laughs> this old jail was opened in 1861. Alanya, is that where you would have been burning stuff? No, would have been gourmet cooking in there, like his gourmet cooking. <laughs> in its lifetime, it saw a handful of prison breaks. <laughs> Stay in there, little boy. <laughs> and eventually closed up shop in 1881 because there wasn't enough prisoners. The building fell to pieces to be partly restored in 1995. Have you been a naughty boy? You go in jail. You go in jail. You're in jail, little Lou. <laughs> You're in jail. Put them all in, Dad. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Why don't they make these coaster walks so you can drive them? <laughs> Um, because you're supposed to get some exercise, big boy. Yeah, well. That's so funny. <laughs> so lazy, but let, let's be honest. It's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is cold. This walk that we aren't going on because we're too lazy travels along the coast, checking out various attractions, and as we found out, was a lot easier to drive. Is that light here? Wait, is this lighthouse map? Oh no, that's the lighthouse. Yeah, I know, I think that's the obvious. Now, this is why you don't have to walk. They do, you can drive it. Look, you can see all the stuff from the from where the walk is. <laughs> from the car. I knew there was a reason <laughs> we didn't have to walk. <laughs> what is it? D d doorway rock. D d doorway <laughs> rock. Right there. Alright, we've seen doorway rock. <laughs> and now lighthouse. It's over there. Righto, so this morning was a bit of a um, chance for us to have a look around Rome. Um, we've had a little look around. <laughs> yeah. We had a cheeky pie at the bakery. Um, and we've just literally skull dragged. Skull dragged's probably not the right word, but just winched out a two wheel drive car <laughs> from the beach. Yeah, was it Long Beach? They Long call Beach. It? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not the best weather today, and South Australia is one of those places where it can be amazing one minute and then bad the next. So um, we're going to head back to the van and we're going to have a cruisy afternoon, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to have some fun. Yep. <laughs> Good weather or bad weather, we're going to have fun. Yeah. That's the aim of the game, isn't it, Olenia? It is, and it's the joys of travelling. <laughs> but the beach looked pretty terrible. Yeah, it did. It looked really bad. <laughs> Good morning. So, we are getting ready to leave. Nick's been researching the 4x4 track. 
And he seems a little bit nervous. Are you no. nervous, big fella? No, not at all, no. <laughs> yeah, that's all I said. That's a lie because just then he said to me, oh, should we fill up with water? I said, oh, okay. Just in case and we can't get through the track in say? one day. And then, should we take some bedding? <laughs> Don't worry, it's all in the truck. It lives in the truck anyway for the rooftop. So all I was worried about was not getting through the truck in one day. And so we have to pitch up a camp for tonight. So you're panicking? No, I'm not panicking. It's just being... You are prepared. No, being prepared, Alenya. Well, your boat's off. Say goodbye to your boat. I know. <laughs> it's sad. It's come off and it's not even in the water. Goodbye, naughty. <laughs> Let's go, Alenia. This is a good start. You don't know where you're going, big fella. <laughs> You've taken a few wrong roads. Oh, <laughs> He has, everyone, he has. Well, you're into me this morning, aren't you? <laughs> Are we back on track? Yeah. yeah. We're never off track. <laughs> what happened, sorry? Oh, wrong way? <laughs> wrong way? He said, oh, we could go this way. Oh, no. <laughs> I got me left and right mixed up. <laughs> Left, right. Loser. <laughs> Alright, whilst we're airing down, I thought we'd actually tell you where we're going. So we're in Robe now and there's a four-wheel drive track along the beach and sort of along the dunny sort of bit to Beachport. We've had a few comments lately about the tyre pressures on the truck saying 30s are high and you should be able to drop them lower. We have dropped them in the Simpson Desert, we dropped them to 22 uh, PSI and when they got hot they were sitting around that 25 PSI but just to give you an idea the truck normally runs between 90 and 100 PSI so it's about double what a car tire is um, so when we say we're dropping to 30 every, you might think oh 30 you know that's nearly highway pressures but for a truck it's not the the tires belly out a lot don't they are you in someone else's bin oh. <laughs> You can't just go using people's bin. I thought... This is these real houses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get in there and get the... the <laughs> ring out. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it takes us a while to air these tyres down and then we're going to get up in there. All right. So at the moment, we're on the Gums track, which leads down to the Coastal track. Now, the Coastal track on the Hema has a D, means difficult. And um, this one we're on now has got an E, which means easy. But it's still pretty tight for the big uh, Susie. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's all right, nothing that um, can't handle. Can't handle. Oh. <laughs> what did you say, Lenny? Well, not the right way. No, it's not the right way. Oh, now come on, guys. So do we have to go all the way back? <laughs> oh, well, this sign says that this track, which is the difficult part, is impassable at the moment because of recent events or something. The beach must be washed away. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a crack out today. You are. Well, we will let you guys know when we're on the right track. <laughs> yeah. Finally back on track headed in the right direction to the coast the start of this track was pretty mellow but it didn't take long for it to pick up the pace so we're on the beach and there's two ways you can go the soft sand or the easier part which one are you going to do big boy let's get the soft sand to go eh? really right. test her out come on big boy here we go let's see Sue's i'll just crawl through this he's going to get us stuck for sure Go, Suze. Oh, I think we could be in trouble here, boys. Go, Suze, go, Suze. No! So 
bloody close. Being stuck on a beach is no one's idea of fun, even if the tide's going out. We are only metres from hard ground here where we can gain a bit of traction and climb oh, God, man. We, need your help. we are doing this solo so there is no one to pull us out. Luckily, we have some keen little fellas to help in these situations. So, what we're doing, we're not in any real danger. It just, it, the wheels are spinning and all that. We just need a few boards just to get out to that hard stuff. We're like literally five meters from the hard stuff. We went all that way through the soft stuff and bogged right down here, right when we tried to turn back on. So, uh, a few max traps and we should pop out of it. Do this one more time and we should be out, I reckon. Ha <laughs> ha! Out, just like that! <laughs> oh, Alenia is so funny. She's a bit filth without me. What do you reckon, Ollie? That was easy. That only took five minutes. Go, Minnie! <laughs> Minnie! <laughs> <laughs> How was that, Dal? It was good. <laughs> I was just telling everyone in the cab that you're a bit filthy. Well, I just <laughs> think it's freezing out here. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to test the truck out, see what it can and can't yeah, do. Yeah, I know, but like, I swear you do some things on purpose. <laughs> no, well, we got all the way. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. But that could have been a bad situation if we didn't know the tide was going out. Um, you know, if it's coming in and you're stuck like that, it puts the pressure on. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but yeah, do your research like we have, tight going out. Let's go and find somewhere to lunch. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, good man. Man, good job. This is a great four-wheel drive track, no doubt about it. But what makes it that much better is the scenery and the views you get along the way. You can just imagine this place with some half decent weather. Oh my god. Yoda. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> track this unless you go down on the beach where we were just then and obviously get bogged there's plenty of traction in all this other stuff but it's like pretty rocky and in a normal car it's probably all right but the truck's a bit higher so you definitely feel the yeah you do yeah. and we got another one yeah go big fella oh my god At this stage of the day, the tide had actually started to turn and was on its way in now. Oh my god! Ah! We are so close to the water, I don't know if this is meant to be the trap we're on or what. But it wouldn't be good if we got stuck out here, would it? Holy! We still had a couple of beaches to navigate before the beach tracks become impassable on the high tide. If we get stuck on one of these beaches, it's all over Red Rover. This track is insane. No, we're gonna get hit by the water here. Hey. Oh my god. 
No, we'll be right. She's coming up. What are we going to do when we get stuck in the water, Nick? And bogged. Oh my god. This is not good. Oh my god, neither. Nick, get Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Nick, just get going. What? <laughs> We'll Get it out of this. Oh no, well we might have to. Oh my god. I don't normally get stressed, but when water's involved, this, the ocean. Oh my god, Nick, just get us out of here, Dark. Oh my god. No, I don't like this idea either. Oh my god. I take this track. Yes, we got it now. Just get out of here, Nick. Go, Susie, go. <laughs> The reason why I got stuck there is because we're hugging right up on the like the high side of the dune. So we just had to back down um, to sort of where the waves are just sort of coming in. It was a bit harder. We're all right. No, mm -hmm. it's all right. <laughs> Go big fella. Look at the big fella running. Doot, doot. What did you find out, big fella? Um, yeah, I think it's doable. Is it risky? Yeah, it'll be 50-50. It's quite a long beach. And once we get past that headland, the beach drastically, like it goes, it's like a single car. The waves are already up to it. So I think we'll give this one a miss. Not, not choice, risking. Big fella. I wasn't sure what you were going to choose then. Yeah, I don't know. We're not risking, you know, this whole setup just to say we drove on this beach and the tides swung around and starting to come in now so if we get stuck it'd be one of those situations that we don't want to be in so now ollie's hangry mum's hangry let's get out of here let's find a spot yeah all right so we've stopped off at old man lake which you can actually camp at and there's a picnic area we're in the picnic area but along this four by four track there's designated camping areas that you can stay at which is pretty cool um, but because we're so close, we're not going to camp. Um, so I've got something special for you guys. Is everyone ready for lunch? Yes. It is time for Elenia's Gourmet Lunch. So first I've got to use the induction cooker and thank God we have this projector system set up. <laughs> Take Nick's crap out. Plug it in and make sure the inverter's on. And we're good to go. All right, so backstory to this recipe. It is a recipe, but I can't quite remember it. So when Nick and I were in Townsville, maybe about six years ago, we um, met this lovely older couple who um, invited us around and she made the best like dip, I guess. <laughs> and it was amazing. And then for ages after that, we were cooking it and then I don't know, Nick and I, Nick said to me, oh, do you want that chorizo dip? And I was like, yes. So we're going to share this with you, but I don't really remember <laughs> too much about it. Just the main things. So first you get your chorizo and cut it up into little pieces. What do you reckon, Darf? <laughs> yeah, you know how to cut a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working. That looks real hot though. All right, we'll put a bit of that in Mom, and we'll get the trees out cooking. <laughs> it is hot. I need a little step. While that's burning, I'll um, get my garnishes ready and the rest of the ingredients, which is not much because I can't remember. All right, something Audi prepared earlier. Hummus, hummus, whatever you call it. Nick laughs at me when I say 
Anyway, you put a dollop on your plate, I'm getting impatient so it's done and you literally just put it on top. I think I did a bit too much chorizo. Oh, I can go around too. <laughs> then you sprinkle your spring onion on and have a go at that. Quick and easy. Let's go and try it. So there is um, chairs but it's not in this one and I'm a bit cold. <laughs> so everyone has to suffer. Come on boys, come and taste mummy's lunch. Mm. I think we're missing a few ingredients. Good job, Lenny. I'm pretty sure I'll love put um, like some seeds on there and a few other things. Yeah, we'll have to try and figure it out. Oh no, that's pretty good. Mm. So, if you're hosting a party, this is perfect. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're having the best time, aren't you? <laughs> You're showing everyone. Oh, Lenya, come have a look at this. Not only can I make a pretty good lunch, <laughs> I make a pretty good coffee too. Is that a packet mix? <laughs> the coffee? Yes. <laughs> There you go, big fella, look at that. How good's that? Thank you. Oh, I've got to do a little pattern for you. Oh, don't draw a pecker in there. Oh, that... <laughs> That's Alenia's pattern, everyone. <laughs> what a banging pattern. <laughs> it's new from Aldi. Yeah. Anyway. We are enjoying the trucks. Yeah, you go have a look, Finny. We are enjoying the trucks, um... I don't know, up. little kitchen setup with I love it. Here. Yeah. It's so much fun. Partnered with the little uh, induction cooker. We've sort of got a set cutler and everything now in here, ready for trips so we don't have to pack because that just kills us. Yeah, it does. <laughs> He's anyway. got time for that. Mm. Wait, oh, that's hot. Oh. You often set me up like that. <laughs> did, hey, did mum try and burn your mouths? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, she's just been there sipping on a coffee. I don't know. She's a weapon now, Lenya. Hey, going in pretty hot, big mama. Now don't touch Finn because they've got spikes. He's burying himself, look. He buries himself, Finny, so no one can get him. See how you can just see the spikes? Huh? Yeah, so no one touches him. Yep, another wrong turn, but uh, we're on the bitumen now, so we've got to air up. Well, not yet, just yet, but... Next up, air up. Yep. <laughs> Takes us 25 stay minutes, there, doesn't Finn. it? Finn. Finny. Finley, stay there, mate. Don't touch him, otherwise we'll be pulling spikes out of you. They hurt, man. Harry, high pants. Finn, high pants. Ah, uh, Finley, Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> I have eight. <laughs> Look how high your pants are, Finny. Why are your pants so high? The boys are at the age now that everything we do, they want to have a crack at too. It's awesome to teach these little guys things like airing up and setting the air compressor up. After our 4x4 four four mission, we headed into Beachport to check it out. We were pretty surprised by Beachport with a caravan park right next to the ocean. We thought it was a cracking little coastal town. The day was getting on though, and we still had to wash Big Sue's after a beach run. So we're looking after Sue's and we're gonna give her a wash, but it's a whole family affair. Go boys! <laughs> Oh, 
What did you say, Lenny? Real naughty still here. No hair, no hair. So back now, this is uh, where we baked ourselves in Robe. I think it's called Lakeside Holiday Park. I'm not too sure, but just in the unpowered section. We have no friends. This is school holiday time too for South Australia. And there's just no one. I mean, the unpowered section is still, it's like, oh, sorry, the powered section is maybe one third full, which is down there. But yeah, anyway, we're back right onto the lake there. And I think you can ski. The ski boat's going round and round there uh, with people skiing. So anyway, Helena's cooking something for tea and then we're probably just gonna go to bed because it's been a pretty big day in the car. I would definitely allow a day to do it. Uh, Robe to Beachport or Beachport to Robe. And Ollie has just started climbing the, the steps, haven't you, big fella? You think you're the you think you're the smartest little fella you are. And you can make it all the way into the caravan. Should we show everyone? Go Ollie, go! You can do it! Yeah. <laughs> Good little fella! Go Ollie, go! Oh, yes! Made it! How long do you reckon? Are you tying them down? Yeah. yeah. What we'll do, we'll do a time for getting the boat up there yeah. and then tying it down. Okay. I reckon all up between half an hour and an hour. Oh, shit. No, actually, I'm going to say half an hour. Yeah, I'm going to say more half an hour. Yeah. But the boys are going to stand near me and have their snacks. They know to do that, by the way. They they know to keep well clear of the boat <laughs> when it's going up on Sue's. And um, I've got my phone for the stopwatch. Yep. So you ready? We're going to set these up. Hit the go button and then uh, show you how long it takes to get this big boat on top of that big truck. We have never actually timed ourselves taking Naughty off the truck and we were quite surprised at how little time it actually took. <laughs> we did 7 minutes 47 to get the boat up there. Yeah, and then we'll put it on again and now Alenia will get the screen record right. <laughs> um, and so from now we've got to do, a, there's a bolt that goes in the headboard and then a couple of straps on the tyres of the trailer. And then that's pretty well it. Then we just load the drawbar up, put it on the back of the tray. <laughs> so um, we'll do that now and time it and then we'll see how long it all takes to put this thing on top. All right, I'm about to press. Can you get it right? <laughs> Can you get it right? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Screen record. And start. Oh, I'm back. I'm into it. We're into it. Do you even know how to do a ratchet? <laughs> do you know, I've been thinking of a comeback for that. What? Nothing? I just, <laughs> just don't have one. <laughs> that one's done, Alenia. Oh, no. <laughs> Lucky you found your bolt. No, this is not the... This is a backup bolt. Oh, <laughs> just, just for this exercise, I've got the spare bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a screenshot and you can see the lap. So the first one and then the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Show people we're not cheating. So let's just call it 20 minutes to get the boat on. Um, off it might be 25 because you've got to reattach the drawbar. And so let's just say 25 minutes and you're ready to get in the water. So the last little tinny we had it was about the same time, but then we had to load everything in it, put the motor on, fuel tank, la 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 la. So um, we're pretty happy with how this goes on and off. Um, and it's surprising for a big boat how quick it actually is. Yeah. Bit of useless information for you anyway. For a day like this, the rest of the day I think it's a write off. We're just probably going to get some work done, um, watch a movie, whatever, and then we're leaving tomorrow to go somewhere else. We don't know yeah, where yet, but uh, that's a good thing about traveling. 18 minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah, happy with that. Killing it. Now, see if we can get three kids down for a sleep. <laughs> That'll take more than 18 minutes, let me tell you. <laughs> Our family starts to go a little bit crazy when we have a lazy day. The little fellows have so much energy, sometimes it just has to be burnt off. And what a perfect way to do that 
with a little bit of footy. <laughs> no! Alanya just got a red card. You're gone. Ten minutes in the bin, Alanya. This is how it ends. <laughs> a friendly game of footy. We've been put off by the weather. The ground's too soggy. Red card. And my player, little Lennox, is down. Is down. Oh no. He's back up. Score, score, run, run, run. <laughs> yes, go. Go, go, Lennox, put the ball down. This is the most lazy. Yes! Player. You get it, Mummy! Can you I have someone else? Mummy, you get it! <laughs> yeah, well, I run with you! <laughs> Nick, show everyone why you're cranky. No. What's I, wrong? Well, we've got a truck, right? And it's got a big canopy. And we've just jammed it full of crap that we do not need. And I'm sick of it. He's just come in, trying to bite my head off. No. I... Lenya, get rid of the pram. Too big. We've got too much crap in the no, truck. We've got a three-seater pram that we've used once or twice, and it's sat in there for how long? Since Ollie's been born, nine months. Love you. Love you. And there's all sorts okay, of stuff. Okay, just, that... just. What do you want me to do about it right now? Well, it's all over the lawn. I got angry and chucked it. Did ya? No, not really. Just a few things. Ollie's little walker. Hey. <clears throat> We've just got so much crap. You're an angry man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, before we left, this, this side of the canopy was pretty well empty, and now it's full. <laughs> How's this spot, Alenia? It's pretty good, isn't it? Donation camp. Yeah. Can't get much better than this. Not at all. What's it, what's it called? Rat's Castle? Yeah, Lake Rats yeah. Castle. <laughs> Lake Rats Castle. I'm not even sure where we are, actually. Sort of near Horsham. I'm not sure. There's heaps of little lakes like this dotted along the um, road, what we've just come. This is where it's at. Yeah. You can put your boat in here, you can ski and all that. And, um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to light the fire, aren't we, boys? We're going to have a fire? Yeah, put a yeah, bit of... Have a fire. Have, yeah, Finn, have a fire. Have a fire and just chill out. And um, take in Rat's Castle. Pretty cool spot, though. Have a rat's time. You what? Mommy. You're going to have a rat's time? A rat's time. Since when is that a saying? It's not. You just said it? Yeah. I don't know. Made I... it up. You make a lot of things up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, I'll finish my white hot chocolate. Oh, bust up. That's, that, yeah, good work. And then, that's it. Did you just like that, Finny? Yeah, yeah high five, Finn. Well, that about wraps up this episode. We have had an awesome time exploring Robe and Beachport and this little donation camp right on the lake's edge. And we just wanted to thank everyone for all your support, especially our Patreons. If you're new to the channel and have made it this far, hit that subscribe button as next week, oh, we have story. disaster after car. disaster. Oh no, stop, stop. So we're just um, pack, packing everything up now. And I will take any need stitches for sure. Cheers and see you on the next one.